Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, my videos here. I got something today that may be of great interest to you folks out there. I have what's called a medium wave loop antenna. Uh, this happens to be a Stutkus model AN200. And uh, this is what you want to use when you want to improve the signal from a little transistor radio, this little shower radio here. Um, my reception's pretty bad with, uh, uh, using this alone. There's a little loop stick antenna inside. But this is uh, going to tune the exact frequency of the broadcast band, AM broadcast band signal that you would be listening to. Now, it works really great on this one. And you just have to hold it close by, preferably orient it in the correct direction so that you get the best signal. We'll demonstrate that in a minute here. Also, if you have a radio that has a direct connection to an antenna in the back of it, you can also plug it in right here, which I have done to this little military surplus aviation radio that happens to tune the broadcast band. It tunes 550 to almost the top of the broadcast band, not quite to about 1500. So we've got it tuned into a radio station already, got it plugged in right here, and let's see how well it does. All right, let's turn up the volume. Your stalled SUV is clear in Anaheim, South Five or off Brookhurst, North South Five. Now the first thing you want to do when you have this set up is you want to adjust the antenna loop to get the best signal. Next, report at 515 with more traffic from the Toyota of Glendora traffic center, KNX 1070. 60s, 70s, 80s, so you can see I, I put it exactly halfway from the weakest signal to the strongest signal, put it about halfway um, in between. And that's our strongest signal. So the next thing you want to do, tune in your radio station. Now once that's tuned in, you can come over to your tuning capacitor, variable capacitor, to make this such that it tunes that particular frequency in right on the money. So let's try that. Let's turn up the volume. At this point, this is a pandemic of Wow, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Put in place or keep in place in some places protection. So you see what I did was I tuned it for maximum volume. So now we're perfectly set here for this particular radio station. Now you will have to, after you uh, tune to different stations, especially weak ones, you'll have to retune uh, this little variable capacitor for maximum signal. And that's quite nice. The, you're really increasing the efficiency of um, this little radio here, or even this little radio here. Let's uh, let's try this one here. See what happens here. So we're going to turn it on. Well, I see. Tells Canucks, we're not Same on radio station. So we got to unplug the antenna from the other radio. There we go. So you just tune for maximum signal volume. There you go. That's pretty good. If I move it away, even if I orient this in the right direction, get a lot of noise in the background. To make a mad dash from the slaughterhouse. Police agencies did an amazing job in gathering 39 of that livestock that evening. However, Seems to be the best locations the right inside the loop. The okay, um, that's it. Uh, I got this on eBay for probably around $30. They have probably the best price. Comes with a little manual here. Very simple to use. No batteries required. It's just a self powered unit. So that's it for now. Oh, one other thing. Let's do a comparison here on this radio. I got a 40 foot long wire going out the door here. Let's see how it works in comparison to the loop antenna. It's all connected up. Let's turn up the volume. For alumni satisfaction, learn more about online.
It's not as good. Out of sight, out of Picking up a lot of noise. But it doesn't work with termites. Hey, it's Vicky Moore for Pacific Coast So, termite. it's very useful for even replacing the long wire antenna I'm using on this radio here. So that's it, guys. Um, you got any questions? You got any comments? Have at it. Just let me know. Thank you for listening. And be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.